Welcome to Sex Talk with Sharonda. My name is Sharonda Park and I am your host and we have so many things that we're going to cover today. So just sit back and let me just break all of this stuff down. I'm going to be talking about curfews for adults. I'm going to talk about uh, a customer review, review for the Satisfier. I have their review, which I thought was absolutely amazing. And then we're going to talk about trace fluids because this month is April showers, which is our month where we talk about stimulating the G spot and we talk about squirting and how squirting is not pee and so on and so forth. So the very first thing that we're going to tackle this morning is curfews. Okay, so let me say this. When a person decides that they want to enter a relationship or a marriage, excuse me, y'all, my throat is dry. Sorry about that. <clears throat> when a person decides that they want to enter a relationship or a marriage, they're not entering it because they are looking for a parent. I have to stress that. I have to stress that. They're not looking for a parent. They're looking for a companion. Okay. Most of my following is from down south. Most of the people that I see post things on my timeline are from down south, meaning Louisiana, Mississippi, you know, just certain areas. Here locally in Baton Rouge, everything shuts down. Everything shuts down at 2 a.m. So it was always this saying with our grandparents and, you know, some of the uh, ladies that even I've heard it growing up, nothing is open past 2 a.m. but legs and hotels. I want you to understand that we live in a different time. That's not the era that we live in. And for us, everything is continuing to go on. The internet doesn't shut down. The te they live during a time where television cut off. They live during a time where radio cut off. They lived in a different time, meaning that everything shut down for them. That is not what's going on today at all. So a lot of times I see people literally create issues in a household trying to set a curfew for another adult. What you really should ask yourself is, if I'm in a relationship, a marriage or whatever with another adult, why don't they want to come home? Why is it that they find comfort being everywhere else but at home? That is the real question. The question is not about setting a curfew. The question is, why don't they want to be at their house? Because see, at my house, we are both adults and we don't have curfews, meaning that if I'm out somewhere and I'm enjoying myself, I'm going to enjoy myself until I'm ready to come home. And when I get ready to come home, I'm going to come home. Spencer goes and enjoys himself. He's going to enjoy himself until he's ready to come home. The problem is a lot of people have this certain level of control that they are trying to maintain in a relationship. And they feel like, oh, I'm not about to make it easy for these people to mess over me. I'm not about to make it easy for him to lay up all night with another woman. But baby, people lay up in the daytime. And this is the truth. People don't pick no certain hours to cheat when they want to be unfaithful. They make it happen. So whether you set a curfew or don't set a curfew, or whether you bring this confusion to your house or don't bring it to your house, you still got a bigger issue. The issue ain't the curfew. The issue is y'all got problems. I even read with one woman saying, I need him to come home so I can go to sleep at night because I just feel like we should lay up with each other and um, be able to cuddle and, and go through our day and we should be able to pillow talk and all of this kind of stuff. And my thing is if it's an environment at your household, that this person want to come home to, you ain't got to you ain't got to put no stipulations for them to want to come lay up and pillow talk with you. 
I'm saying this because I watch women create issues in their household, trying to run their household how their grandmother used to run their household. If you live in Vegas, I'm going to take you somewhere else. Because see, the thing is, I'm only here in Louise. I'm only here in Baton Rouge because this is where my business is. If it was up to me, I would not live here because the nightlife sucks here. We don't have a real nightlife. Since my after hours shut down, there has not been anything that went on since then. So I know from experience that people will stay out all night long having a good time, innocent fun. I know this to be true because I've seen it. And when they would leave here, because we shut down at five in the morning, they would leave here and go to the casino because the casino don't shut down. But if you lived in Vegas, not Baton Rouge, not Louisiana, not somewhere down south, and you had you lived in Vegas, if you ever went to Vegas on vacation, what you would see is during the daytime, it would be like everything would be scarce, meaning in the daytime, the casinos would be empty. In the daytime, the restaurants would, you know, you could just walk in. But see, like around 10 o'clock at night, 11 o'clock at night, Vegas get the bumping. When I say bumping, I'm talking about thriving people everywhere. Like the, the music, music is going, lights is going. Like literally the city is lit up. And this goes on to like six o'clock in the morning until the sun comes up. And then everybody go on about their business and go on head home and go and get them some rest for a couple of hours and then go to work or do whatever they do. But what I'm trying to get you to understand is you got that small mind mentality because you ain't seen nothing else. So you creating all these issues in your household because you got a partner that don't want to come home and they want to go out there and enjoy themselves. Or they may be a person that really is at home most of the time, but from time to time, they like to go out and enjoy themselves. And every time they go out and enjoy themselves and they don't come home, by the time you deem what is respectful, they got to they gotta deal with issues, which in return makes them not ever want to go anywhere, which in return makes them resent you. They feel like I can't ever do nothing. I go to work every day, all day, bust my ass, and every time I decide to go out and enjoy myself, it's a motherfucking problem. And I ain't doing nothing but shooting the shit with people that I don't even get to spend time with on a regular basis because I'm looking at y'all fucking face every day, all day. And the truth is, you want them at home for a respectable time to do what? To watch you sleep. Because that's all the fuck you're doing anyway. You want them home to watch you sleep. You ain't up all night entertaining them. You ain't up on the y'all hoes be tired all day long. Oh, I'm tired. I'm tired. I'm tired. When it come down to sudden dick, oh, my mouth, get my, I get locked jaw. Y'all bitches complain all day, every day about everything. You want somebody at home to watch you sleep. You want to maintain a certain level of control. Because you want to know what they're doing at all points in time. Because when they eye, when your eyes ain't on them, you feel some type of way. You got to know where they at at all times. You got to know if they work from 8 o'clock to 5 o'clock, by 5.30 they need to be at home. You got trust issues, ma'am. You got to deal with them issues. You can't put that shit off on somebody else. And that's the truth. Now, let me tell you something. I know a lot of women not going to like this video at all. But I believe in speaking the truth. The truth. And curfews are for children. They are not for adults. Now, let me say this here. If you got a situation where he could go out and enjoy himself, well, sweetheart, when you get ready to go out and enjoy yourself, you take your time. You enjoy yourself. You go to the to the event. You go to the uh, Waffle House or the IHOP afterwards. And if you want to go play some slots, you do that too. In other words, whatever you and your friends doing, you go do it and you enjoy yourself. And when you come home, you throw pussy on him. You go to sleep. You wake up the next day and tell him about what a wonderful night you had. That's the way it's supposed to go. But let me tell you, if you coming home and you got a man that's all frowned up in attitude because you went out and enjoyed yourself then that tells me one thing. 
Y'all need to grow the fuck up. The both of y'all. And a lot of the issue is men want to be able to go and move how they want to move. But then they don't want their woman to move how they want to move. In other words, you want your freedom, but you want to have control at home. She got to be home by a certain time. But I, I'm one of them kind of people, if it's good for you, then it's good for me. And the best thing that we can do is not put all of these stipulations on each other. I don't like stipulations. I don't like, I, I like to be able to enjoy myself and I like to have my freedom. At, at the end of the day, when I leave out my door, I know I'm Spencer Parker wife. So you better believe that everywhere I go, I carry myself like I'm Spencer Parker wife. He ain't ever got to worry about nobody telling him that Sharonda Parker was out in the street acting like she was single. They can say, oh yeah, she was enjoying herself. Oh yeah, she was having a good time. But they ain't going to tell him that Sharonda was sitting on her main lap. They ain't about to tell you that she was skinning and grinning the motherfucker face too long. They going to be able to say that she was over there with them ladies and they was enjoying themselves. All I'm trying to get you to understand is a lot of issues that y'all have in y'all households, you create them. And you create them because you got a small town mentality. You got the mentality of your grandmother. Keep in mind, when grandmother was living, television cut off. When grandmother was living, nothing stayed open past a certain time because they wanted people to be able to get their ass up and go to church. I used to love to go to suppers. When I was younger, people used to have suppers. And matter of fact, they got certain people out of Alston right now still do suppers. I can go in the middle of the night and go get a pork chop sandwich. Y'all act like these, these good houses don't exist. Well, people turn their house into an after hour spot because people be looking for shit to do. You got some people, they really be up and moving and thriving at nighttime. They can't sleep at night. So all I'm saying is, don't nobody want to sit at home and watch you sleep. It's a many nights. I'm going to give you an example. Last night, after I taught wife school, after I had to went to church, fuck Spencer, did everything that I had to do throughout the day. By like 1030, I was tired. He laid down in the bed next to me. He said, baby, you about to go to sleep? I said, yeah, I think I'm about to go ahead and go to sleep. So I went to sleep. I woke up this morning and I said, well, baby, what time you end up going to bed last night? We just talking. He saw I went to bed after Chris left. I was like, oh, Chris came over last night. So this had to be like around 10, 30, 11, 12 o'clock at night. I don't know. I don't care. But my point is you can't put everybody on your sleeping schedule. Y'all want to maintain too much control over other adults. Y'all issue is you got control issues. And you don't trust the motherfucker as far as you can see him. Those are your issues. All right. As promised, I'm going to talk about um, trace fluids. And then I'm about to get off into this review. All right. So let me talk about the satisfied because everybody on this, this rolls kick. But AirPods technology, whirlwind on the clitoris. She will be your friend. Waterproof takes better, so you ain't got to worry about no charging issues. All right, ladies. Story time. I'm reading the review. Y'all already seen the picture, so you know what's up. If you've been eyeing this product, contemplating on whether or not to get it, or just letting this most precious gift to women sit in your cart, then wait no further, sis. I didn't write this. One of my customers that bought this wrote this. I'm here to tell you to get it, sis. Okay, I brought this product from the PPG store about two weeks ago. When I got it in the mail, I was so excited. I was getting in my car to leave when the mailman pulled up. I opened it in my car. Got the fuck out, went inside. Me, oh my. I had to try it ASAP. Of course, after I put in the battery, sanitized it and whatnot. I noticed that it had 11 different speeds, but I'm going to call them programs. Like the box says, because baby, they are most definitely programs. I could 
could not get past program number seven. I kid you not. Y'all, it's been a minute since I've squirted. And I was at loss for words. Do you hear me? Then I got excited. And I just laid there smiling. Doing what I call the thing. Looking at me. Look, I'm sorry. Looking at it and it looking at me. <laughs> the next time I used it, I decided to use it. Oh, I'm sorry. I'm, I'm reading all over the place. The next time I used it, I decided to use what I like to call me precious. I say that in my Snow White voice. I'm in the shower because sis is waterproof, okay? So, yeah. It was giving me what was supposed to... Oh, goodness. All right. It was giving what it was supposed to give, honey. But I still didn't make it past seven. But that's all right because I took the ultimate challenge. Like, I'm going to get to 11. I ain't no quitter. Y'all know this. I have squirted every single motherfucking time I have used Me Precious. So she done called this toy Me Precious. That's what she done called it. <laughs> now here's the best part. The reason I'm making this post is because y'all, I made it. After two weeks, I finally made it. You right, sis. I made it to program 11 today. When I tell you it was like no other in my old lady church voice, it was like no other, baby. I'm the one holding it, y'all, but I had to move my body away from me, precious, because I just knew I was about to bust my ass in the shower. That was the longest I have ever squirted in my life, and I think something was wrong, y'all. With my back against the wall, the shower still running, my legs weak, and me, precious, in my hand, we did the damn thing again. I was looking at me like, what in the fuck? Y'all go get it. I promise you, it's money well spent. It gives you exactly what it's supposed to give. All right. So that is the review on the satisfier. She calls her toy me precious. All right. Trace fluids. Y'all gonna feel like y'all in a chemistry class. <laughs> and I'm gonna buy you another Pepsi. Oh, goodness, this is some good cold water. It got ice forming in it. All right. So, it's April showers. This is the month where I talk about squirting. So, the fluid that we call... Um, the ejaculation from us squirting comes from what's called the skin gland. And how to squirt will be available for download where I actually show you with the toy how to squirt. I go through this whole little thing as well, but I'm giving you this for free because I really get tired of hearing people say to this beat. Okay. So when you stimulate the G spot, the G spot is surrounded by sponges right and then there's the skin gland okay you have the urethra that's where your urine comes from so what happens is we have the skin gland that has all of these sponges around it that hold fluid okay you listening this is pepsi this is water now i'm gonna pour this pepsi out of this cup Right, this cup is empty, but it has traces of Pepsi in it. I'm gonna pour this water into the cup that had the Pepsi. Is this water or is this Pepsi? There's trace fluids of Pepsi, but is this water or is this Pepsi? This is water with trace fluids of Pepsi. So when you are squirting, you are actually expelling the fluid from the skin gland, the sponges, not urine. And if there happens to be any urine that comes out of the skin gland, it's only trace fluids of it, meaning that you're not actually pissing on a person. 
you get the feeling that you got to pee when you squirting because all of that area where your bladder and everything is being stimulated. So you feel in the, the feeling that you got to pee, but you don't have to pee. Okay. I'm doing this video because I get so tired of y'all saying that people pissing on y'all. If you look at the fluid, it is not urine. She ejaculated just like men ejaculate. For example, a man has a penis. The same hole that his semen comes out of, urine comes out of it, right? Our bodies function the same pretty much. So when he nut in your mouth, is it nut or is it piss? Did he nut in your mouth or did he piss in your mouth? Okay, here we go. Nut. No, hold on. Here we go. Pee. Then he turns around and he nuts. Is it nut or is it pee? Okay, I rest my case. I rest my case. So my point is, if you can eat that dick up and you can let him nut in your mouth and you confident that it's nut, don't tell me nothing about when a woman squirt in your face that she pissed in your face. Because we could very well tell you when you nutted in our mouth, it had piss in it. But we know that it didn't. And if it did, it was only trace fluids. All right. So that is going to conclude my live today. I want you all to be blessed. Make sure you go onto the website. Hopefully by six o'clock this evening, I can have this situated with the how to squirt uh, video. With the video, um, with the with the April showers kit, you're gonna get the G Spot vibrator, and you're gonna get the Spot on G Spot stimulating gel, and you'll be able to download the video for free for a limited amount of time. Okay, once I sell out of the kits, then the video will be available for download, and you can purchase the item separately, but you won't get that deal with the bundle because you know you getting a download, you getting a um a toy, and the G-Spot Stimulating Gel off of $39.99. So once the promotion is over and we run out of the limited supply, understand that you're going to be paying for everything separately. You're going to be paying for the download separately. For $19.99, you're going to pay for the toy separately. For $30, you're going to pay for the G-Spot Stimulating Gel for $19.99. I just want to make sure we all understand this. So once I put it out there, I urge you to go ahead and start purchasing the download. I, I urge you to start purchasing the April Showers Kit. I hope you all enjoyed this live. Um, April 25th is International Lingerie Day. April 14th is Cupcake and Conalinkas Day. Okay? So, this week, April 14th is Cupcake and Conalinkas. If you don't know what Conalinkas is, that is uh, eating pussy or getting your pussy. That's what it means. Oral sex to the towards the woman and for my latest because i had one lady said that she um is so ticklish when a man going down there eating on her she says she just can't take it she's so ticklish that's where your bed restraints come in there baby go ahead and restrain yourself so you can lay there and, and take that good mouth all right all right you all be blessed